What's up guys, this is Ryan Nose Tech from techinform.us, our tech blog. And today's short video is a uh, short little demonstration of the beta software FaceTime for the Mac. We've seen it on our iPhones, we've seen it on our iPod Touches. If you haven't seen it, run over to the Apple Store, they'll hook you up. You can play with it, it's really cool. It allows you to use the front facing camera and whatever device you have. Now, thankfully, your Mac providing it as a front-facing webcam, to be able to talk with people over the internet and see them and flip to the back camera and show them. It's just really cool. So uh, this is beta. It is free to anybody. Run over to apple.com. Check the link down in the sub bar below to get the link for the beta. It's free. Anybody can do it. So I'm running 10.6.4. I think it works on 10.6.3 and up, which is Snow Leopard third quarter. Um, so it, it's going to come with OS 10.7 Lion, which we're supposed to see next summer. It should be really cool. Uh, lots of bugs in it. We'll be seeing those shortly, I'm sure. Um, but let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, the icon just looks like a camera with a lens in the middle. You'll be seeing me shortly. There I am. Hi. Um, big box here. This is my contacts list. I don't want people freaking out because I see their name there. So I put a big picture over it, whatever I happen to use. Um, as you can see, there's three tabs at the bottom. Contacts. Well, that's going to go straight to your address book, which I won't open for security reasons. But whatever you have on your address book is going to show up in contacts, which makes it super easy. Then you have recents. You can see your recent calls, uh, incoming and outgoing. And then your favorites, which you can customize to whoever you want to be calling more often. It's super easy to find them. So uh, let's give my phone a call, my iPhone. Come down here, find me. You click on me, you have all my contact information, which is, which is annoying. Both my phone numbers and about nine email addresses. So we're just going to click on my mobile number. There it is, giving a little beep saying it's calling. And right here on the iPhone, you'll be able to see Ryan Schultz would like to FaceTime. It's already turned on my front facing camera. Slide to answer, just like a phone call. And there it is, connecting. Still taking a second to do that. And, and there, it there it is. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down so we don't get an annoying echo there. But I'll turn the phone around. As you can see, there's my recording machine. I just had some milk and cookies a little bit ago. There's my microphone, my monitor. This is what it looks like when I make a video. Some headphones. Definitely pretty cool, though. The audio quality, I, I don't have on because it will echo like crazy. But it's decent. A uh, little bit of echo. It's not bad for coming through the internet and mobile devices. I feel like I'm looking all over the place. I'm looking at the camera. I look here. It's, it's weird. Um, but it's just like FaceTime on anything else. On the iPhone, you can move around your window, um, change it to the rear-facing camera. Now, I've had difficulties with this. It seems to crash in just about a minute. But if you rotate it, there we go. We're freaking the camera out. We've got a snorkel tube of images there. Turn it around. There's a bowl. There's some information on my new snowblower. We've got stuff everywhere here. Uh, seems to be working pretty well though, so we'll turn it back. You'll notice that it does rotate that as well. Now obviously I can't turn my MacBook Pro upside down or uh, 90 degrees, but this seems to work really well. I'm happy with it. It seems to be a good feature that I think a lot of people will enjoy. Uh, when we're done, uh, I should mention that we have the same controls over here on the iPhone that we do on anything else. Mute, switch cameras, and end the call, which I just pressed. So there it is, ends the call. Super easy to do. Uh, this is what I love about Apple, guys. It's so easy to do whatever you're trying to do with it. When you're done, just close it. I mean, up here, we've got a little bit of stuff. You can change your uh, your microphone here, window. I mean, help, it's, it's all the normal stuff. And it's not a feature-heavy application. It just works the way it should. It's very basic. And uh, something that, once perfected, where it doesn't give me those Bluetooth um, errors on startup, I think it'll, a lot of people will use it and enjoy it. So if you've had a chance to play with it, um, leave your, your thoughts and feelings below. Have you had this Bluetooth issue on startup? It tells you you have a headset, gives you the error twice. It's weird. I don't know. But definitely leave your comments below. Subscribe to me, uh, to my channel. If you like the content, add me as a friend. I always accept those. And uh, if you have any requests, uh, more than welcome, ryan at techinform.us or uh, here on YouTube, anywhere you want to leave me a comment is fine. Like the video if you could. And uh, our website, techinform.us, then my Twitter, links down below, twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. And then be sure to catch us tomorrow night, or any Tuesday night, from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ustream.tv slash user. Again, this link is down below. Slash user slash techinformus for our live web shows. We'll be taking some Skype calls, talking about last week Apple events, looking at... Uh, I life 11, all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll see you there, or uh, I guess in tomorrow, tomorrow is Tuesday, uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday's video. So thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.